Hey guys, and welcome back. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make Game Pass icons because all of us have Game Passes in our games and nobody's gonna wanna buy them if they look bad. Now, first things first, I will be using Photoshop for this video, which is a paid program. However, if you go to photop.com, it's basically free Photoshop, just using it in your browser instead of using it as an app on your computer. Another great thing about Photop is you can open Photoshop documents. So I'm going to be starting with this template right here, released on the dev form. This will be linked down below in the description. And you can just download this and open it in Photop. However, I have it in Photoshop. The first thing we need to do is transfer this stuff over to a 512 by 512 canvas, which I have right here. And then I'm going to just scale it down to fit that canvas. We want to make sure it's centered which this template's just not. So that's something. Anyways, this is a template and you can keep it exactly how it is. However, we don't wanna do that because we want our stuff to look a little bit different than everyone else's. So we're gonna open up our blending styles here and just see what kind of stuff we can do. I think I like the darker border. I like that. I'm gonna add this bevel and emboss. These settings you could play around with no matter uh, however you want, really. But I think I'm gonna keep mine exactly where they are. Ooh, wait, the depth up looks pretty nice too. Okay, I changed my mind. I'm going with these settings. Now we have some other layers for some designs within the game pass. These are the dots, which I think look pretty cool, but I think they're a bit too, uh, too pronounced. So I'm gonna turn the opacity down to 50%. That is the transparency of an object. And this, uh, this is the little sunburst thing, which I'll probably keep how it is. Now, my game is a simulator, so more exaggerated colors are definitely going to be better. Kind of like this, except that's like a lot. I like something like this, but I want the darker color on the bottom. So we're just change our angle like this, and that looks pretty good. Also, the shape on the outside, I don't like how we can see behind it. So I'm going to turn its opacity all the way up. And then we're just gonna change it to a bit darker of an orange. Something like this is actually looking pretty nice in my opinion. Now there's a whole bunch of other stuff. We can go on Google, we could type in texture PNG, texture overlays, and you can get a whole bunch of different designs for the back of this, but this is nice, simple, and clean, so we're gonna keep it here for now. Now that we have our very base sort of shape laid out, I am going to convert this to a smart object, which is going to make it all one thing, and that'll help us in just a bit. After we have our basic game pass done, we're probably going to need some sort of text. Here is what I'm going to use to make text. All we got to do, click our little type tool here, and then we could say um, times two, for example. That's going to be a very common thing we use. We'll scale that up. In Photoshop, it's Control T which brings out your sort of transform tools. I think it's the same in Photo P as well, but I cannot be too sure. The next thing we do is just customize this with those same blending options that we had before. We have the bevel emboss, which I think already makes it look a lot cooler. I genuinely love gradient overlays on pretty much everything, but it's, it's definitely a style choice. Some people hate it, some people love it. I happen to love it. So, so far, so good. Let's bring our scale down a bit so we have more white color in this. And then we're definitely gonna want a stroke. We're gonna switch this to outside and make it quite a bit bigger. We can also take our bevel and change some of our colors. This doesn't matter too, too much, but it might be cool to match that up with whatever game pass you're working on. For now, I'm gonna keep them sort of white and black. So now we have our game pass, we have our text. What else do we need? We need the vector icons. Now, I'm going to assume if you're making game passes, you already have your UI done in your game, and then that means you already have your vectors. Here is a pretty good example of all the vectors we have in our game. If you don't already have vectors, you can go on Google, type in vector pack, Roblox icon pack, literally anything you want and get images from there. Just make sure you have the rights to be able to use those images. In other words, make sure they're clearly marked free or they come with some sort of a license. Anyways, since I already have the pack, all we have to do is put them in. So we will start with the times two coins because we already have this orange background. So all we have to do when we have our vector image is drag and drop, there we go. And then we just have to resize it so it fits nice. 
Whenever you're making something in a photo editing software, you need to make sure you understand layers. As you can see, the 2X is behind our coin, and that is because this side works with layers. If we move our game pass to the top, everything goes away. If we move it to the bottom, everything appears. Anyways, we need to make sure the coin is behind the text. Then I think we will move this text a bit over. Common practice is usually to center this. If you do your control T again and move it around, it does center on these lines. And of course, these are a lot smaller on the website. So I am zoomed in and it looks a little low quality, but when you zoom out, it's looking pretty good. I wonder if I should offset it a little bit since the times two makes it, uh, well, I guess it's counting that as centered. Cool. So this would be number one. File, export, export as. And this can be a JPEG or a PNG. I usually do PNG just so it's easier to use them later in the UI for, let's say, our shop. We will just save that to our computer and that is one game pass done. Now, this is a huge time saver, what I am about to show you guys. The next game pass we want to do is 2x pets. However, that would not also be orange. So if you press control and U on your keyboard, this hue and saturation thing will pop up. And if Photop doesn't have that, you could probably go down here, click on hue and saturation, and then just make sure it's only above your background layer. Then you can move around all of these however you want. But with this, and we have times two pets, I think that should be a red game pass. So we're just gonna shift this over a little bit. Now we have a whole different color for every single part of the background. And all we need is our pet icon. Now our icon pack automatically has these strokes around the images, which usually look pretty good. We're gonna put the dog on top of the coin so we can sort of match the size, but this one's gonna be a little bit different. You're gonna want two pets on here because that's what the game pass is. So we'll delete the coin and then we'll bring in two, I guess, two dogs. You can put one over there, one over here, and we're gonna need to make one on top of the other. Something like this, and then we wanna change that X2 into a plus two. Just like this, and we're gonna move some of this stuff around, because I feel like it doesn't match our other game pass too well yet. That's a little bit better. Once you start getting more than one vector per pass, it kinda looks a little goofy sometimes. But now all we have to do for the rest of our game passes is copy and paste the exact same steps. If we need to change our text, maybe we don't need text at all. If we need to change our color, control U and the hue and saturation, I'm gonna fly through those and I'll show you guys all of them on site when they're done. All right, so we just got all of the images done, but that is only half of the important part. To make a game pass, you have two options. You can go to your game, and then if you go to your store, you have this plus button. Click that, and it'll lead you to where, well, I guess almost to where you need to go. Or you can go into your creator hub, click on your game, go down to monetization, passes, click here, and this is where you can create your passes. Now, when you create a pass, first thing you want to do is upload your game pass image. If you named those, it'll probably already have the name of your game pass. And one thing I want to talk about real quick, everyone like is so simple with their game pass descriptions and there's never any flavor to them. Like this, the description for most of them would be like, gives you two times coins. And it's just like not really that fun, but you also don't want to get too overly complex with them as well. I'm going to say double your earnings with 2x the coins while you farm. Nice, short, sweet, but also not just a boring, like, game pass description. Then we just click create pass, and boom, we have one game pass created. Then you'll have to go into it, and our game is private now, so I don't think we can actually put it, we can put it on sale. But you set your price, put it on sale, and there you go. It'll show up underneath your game. Let me get all of our game passes added for the game. I have no idea on prices yet. And just like that, we have all of our game passes, super colorful, very aesthetically pleasing, and it gets rid of that ticket icon that Roblox gives you. These bright images partnered up with good descriptions, it's time for your game to make some money. So best of luck to all of you guys, and hopefully this tutorial helped you out.